My dearest Allison, I have been dreaming of this day for the past eight years, and today you are making it our reality. For my first time, I told you I love you at the park in Lake Zurich to countless hours traveling to each other at school. There isn't a single minute I would trade away. Alex, the day is finally here. God blessed me 100 times over the day I met you. Our love has grown so much over the eight years, and I'm so grateful to have you as a best friend and partner. We make the best team. You have been a constant light in my life since the very first time we met and I have come to realize that you are one of my greatest role models. I know your mom is so proud of the man she raised. You are so strong, loyal, and most of all, you make me feel safe. I know those are the attributes from your amazing mama. The orchid in my bouquet is just one way for us to stop and remember her today. Your kindness and grace is admired by all, and I am the luckiest man to be able to call you mine. You are my world. I can't wait to keep loving you every day to the moon and back. Forever yours, Alex. I love you forever in a day. Can't wait to be your wife. Love, Allie. This guy comes over to the house all the time and he says, first thing out of his mouth, it's not, hey, I'm hungry, can you make me food? No, he doesn't say that. He says, hey, Mr. Heinrich, can I do anything for you? And I'm just about to mow the lawn. And I have a pretty big, big backyard and a riding lawnmower. So Alex decides he's gonna mow the lawn. So Alex mows the lawn up and down this way, right? And then he mows it this way. And then he mows it this way. There wasn't a single blade of grass missed in that backyard. He had the headlights on, it was still dark. It was dark at night when he came in, right? Honest to God, true story. It just shows, it goes to show that he is all about the detail. He will not do anything unless it's the right thing to do. And this is the right thing to do. I'd like to start by thanking those who helped make this wedding what it was and how amazing it is. Definitely no thanks to me. I had two responsibilities for this wedding. One was a bachelor party with no arrests or trips to the hospital. And we only accomplished that because we brought a nurse to the bachelor party. So thank you, Aaron. I'd also like to take a moment to think about those who were unable to be here with us, knowing that their presence is felt but missed. Six years later, we're on the soccer field. She's out there scoring all over the place. She's on the wrong side of the field. She's everywhere and everything else. I, I pull her off because she's she's killing everybody out there, doing a fan, fantastic job. And I said, what's going on? What? She goes, you know that girl out there? I go, yeah. What was her name? Jordan. <laughs> she knows, right? She goes, Jordan's on the other team. I go, you just toasted her like 50 times. Alex, she won't get mad, she will get even, okay? I'm just saying, right? So really what happened is that people just started referring to us as one unit. The Allies, more informally known as the Al's, to my other half, my Al. I love you so very much. We don't say this nearly enough because we've been friends for too long. But I'm so proud to be your best friend. I love you so dearly. Alexander. Do you take Allison to be your wife? Do you promise to be faithful to her in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love her and to honor her all the days of your life? I do. Allison? Allison. Receive this ring. Receive this ring. As a sign of my love as a sign of my love and fidelity and fidelity in the name of the Father in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Son and the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit looking at this next chapter of your lives together there's no doubt that you will continue to push each other and continue to grow in love because when you have the type of relationship that is constantly adapting and constantly progressing there isn't anything life can throw at you that you won't be able to overcome Alexander Alexander receive this ring receive this ring Ring. It's a sign of my love. It's a sign of my love. And fidelity. And fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Now it is my uh, honor and my joy to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Hilt. You may kiss your wife at this time. God has a really funny way of giving you signs. So Al and I don't refer to each other as anything other than Al. 
If we call each other by our first names, something's up. I don't think that there could be a better sign than being able to refer to your life partner as Al. So to my other Al, <laughs> thank you for being you. You're strong, you're smart, you're kind, you're humble, you're hardworking. You made my job as best friend, big bad best friend, so easy, so dang easy. And I can never thank you enough for the times that you were there for her. You were her rock, you were her partner, and I love you for it. I owe you, Al. Even still, we were always lumped together. We were still the Hilt Boys, getting up through high school, still playing all the same sports. Uh, hanging out in the same friend groups, thankfully not wearing the same clothes anymore. Uh, that was because Alex got husky, not fat. And <laughs> well, that that's what the tag on your clothes said was husky. Marriage is just like that. So the little notes that you have to leave one another in the morning when you go to work. The the little holding your hands when you go on walks. You know those those dates that you have to remember. The first kiss, your first date. This day, right? Never forget it. I want you to stand up. Raise your right hands. I'm serious. Raise your right hands. I state your name. Do solemnly swear to have date night every week. Unless Alex is on a fishing trip with his father in law. And to the both of you, for eight years. I watch your love grow from this young high school love into this mature, sincere, special, sacrificial love. And I just love watching every moment that you chose each other and you leaned on each other in, in, in every way, in every special way. To this love that I've watched grow for so very long. And I'm so happy to be a part of the ride. I love you both. You're gonna be great together. I can't wait to be Auntie Al. <laughs> but don't forget, you will have great things. Great things will happen. If you keep the little things going, great things like children, your first house, the, the, the milestones in your life will be great. And they will be great only if you do the little things, the good things, right? So we have to check in with one another next month, six months, two years from now. Is your marriage good? Ask one another. Do we have a good marriage? And you say, yeah, okay, it's cool. But do you have a great marriage? Ask him that. You ask her that. That's the most important thing. You'll have a great marriage if you do the little things. You really will. I learned my lesson. Do the little things, okay? It's toast to Alex and Allie. To a future of well-groomed backyards, plenty of food, and a great, not a good marriage. I love you guys. <laughs>